A Tribute to Kevin James Gallagher by Karen Ellis. Kevin's love of the sport of marching was formed in his childhood when his mother Joyce, for the briefest time in 1959, instructed a group of girls in marching. He wrote, Joyce loved dance, not drill, and the young women the same, and soon discovered they had better things to do on a Wednesday night, and maybe their boyfriends agreed, than learn saluting, marking time, and off-step left turns from a reluctant instructor. But as luck had it, young Kevin, now 11 years of age, was drawn to the sport, including its discipline, precision drill, smart uniforms, white boots, and marching music. Over the decades, he became a researcher, historian, and avid enthusiast of our sport, writing for marching publications in the days before the internet. Kevin came quietly into my social media life around four years ago. He requested to join my Facebook group titled Marching Girls. I added him immediately as he was already well known in marching circles, actively participating on all the other marching groups in Australia and New Zealand. Then some time later, I approached him to become a co-administrator of my group, or 2IC, second in charge, as it was getting more and more members. Today it has over 1,600, and I was keen for some help. And Kevin was really keen to assist, and expressed how honoured he was to be asked, considering he had never marched or instructed. In fact, he confided in me that he had two left feet. It was his ideal online volunteer role. He excelled at finding photos, videos and articles lost to the passage of time that were related to the sport of marching. He would delight in sharing his discoveries online. Group members were in awe of his dedication to their sport. He also wrote a creative piece most days titled Imaginary Marching Quote of the Day, which created interest. He would research behind the scenes, contacting former marchers, and then feature a marching girl of the month story. He liked to keep it a secret from me until the accolade was posted. He knew I love surprises. I once asked him if he ever dreamt of marching, and this was his reply. Yes, the subject appears in dreams occasionally, although generally in some sort of unsatisfactory context, as in, Queen's Guards are going to appear next, and then they don't. When I told him that I never dreamt about marching, his one word reply was, sad. Before Kevin went into hospital, he wrote, I am grateful to you for starting the group and going to the trouble of running it. I hope people enjoy what is posted. Well, yes, I did start the group, but in the last 12 months or so, Kevin was actually running the group with my blessing and admiration. However, I did not let go of the reins immediately and I told him that he first had to learn how to make photo albums in Facebook. I had to laugh because he avoided learning the task for months. I kept telling him how easy it was and that he would bloody kick himself once he knew how. When I finally did teach him how to make albums, it was like he had been given a special gift from me. Once he could place single photos into albums, he was off archiving with enthusiasm and running the group. Kevin shared with me what Joyce was up to most days. I found out that she loved her crosswords 
and always looked forward to her lunchtime meal. She had her alone time when Kevin went to the library to post to all his marching friends, but she looked forward to his return for their midday meal together. Because we were in contact most days on the marching group, our acquaintance evolved into a special and unique friendship. We spoke of the trust we had in each other, the up and downs in our lives, music preferences, our own mortality, family, ethical issues, social etiquettes, history, politics, and general day-to-day -day goings on. We were very different in our likes, especially related to marching. However, we had a similar sense of humour and respect for each other's differing opinions. There was never a crossword between us. The marching fraternity across Australia and New Zealand has been blessed by Kevin James Gallagher. With his passing, there possibly goes our sport's most dedicated spectator and supporter. Even until the end, he was still incredibly positive that marching would not die out completely after decades of decline in the number of young people keen to join the sport. I used to say to Kevin that it saddened me that I could not come around to his place for a cuppa and a chat. He told me that would have cheered him up no end. Life goes on and although Kevin can no longer be seen or touched, I know he's near because of the fond memories of him in my heart and that are recorded on all the marching groups and pages on Facebook. Adieu, dear friend. Your daily online presence will be greatly missed by me and your marching fraternity.